Hi there, it's Mrs. Drake with the clarinet. We are going to be doing lesson 11. Everybody, lesson 11. Remember always to have a pencil out, and I hope you warmed up already on your five note scale. Um, before we get to lesson 11, could everybody flip back to page 15? I want to do the third one on page 15. Everybody flip back to page 15. The third one is called articulation. Articulation refers to your mouth and your tongue when you play clarinet. Articulation, your tongue. Okay, so um, page 15, song 3, the articulation. You see it's kind of just a nice easy warm up. Everybody warm up a C. So song number 3, the articulation song on page 15. C, 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 C. That's B. One, two, ready, go. Lesson 11. Lesson 11. Okay. On lesson 11, the new thing is the B flat key signature. Okay. So take a look at song one on lesson 11. Do you notice here by the treble clef, they put the flat marking? Okay, the flat marking. Now you've already learned B flat. We've already talked about B flat. But um, in music, they like to say vink. So now what they're going to do, instead of putting the flat sign next to all the B's like they did on some of the other pages, now they're just going to put it over here. And that means for that entire song, every B has to be played as B flat. Whether it's the high B flat or the low B flat, it means every B has to be played B flat. So please take a look and you'll see that every song on this page has the B flat and it's called the key signature. So B flat key signature. So right there is a B flat, it would be played first finger. So if you want to, you can feel free to draw, you know, in pencil, write the word B flat or just draw a flat sign. Um, it's up to you. I don't mind if you write in your music, as long as you use pencil. If you want to re write reminders, it's totally okay with me if you write some reminders. It's better than making a mistake. Okay, so song number one, it's kind of like a four note scale. So it starts on F, and I want to remind you that the B flat, the low B flat, is going to be first finger down here. In fact, everybody warm up B flat low. Okay, and then the song, first uh, note of song one is F. Everybody warm up at F. Remember, breathe in often to clear off your spit. F, E, that's going to be the speed of song number one. One, two, ready, go. some rests. Look ahead in measure 7. Do you see that it goes up to high B flat? And I want to remind you that high B flat is the A key and then you put your thumb on the long skinny key in the back but leave the hole open. So try that. That's called high B flat. High B flat. Um, it's used in measure 7 right here. Some people feel like it looks like it up it looks upside down. They put the stem down usually on a high B flat. Um, but that one is that high B flat that I just played a few seconds ago. So that one's B flat. Again, feel free to circle it if you want to remind yourself it's um, feel free to write yourself a memo. It's better than playing a wrong note. Okay, song number two starts with A. Everybody warm up A. A rest. F rest. That's gonna be the speed of song number two. One, two, ready, go. Okay, song 
song number three. Please notice that there's some high B flats in this one also. Song number three also starts with F. Everybody warm up F. F, G, A, B flat. That's going to be the, song, the speed for song three. Ready, get set, go. Okay, song number four. Again, there's some high B flats in song number four. Song number four starts on an A. Everybody warm up an A. Song number four. One, two, ready, go. Okay, and song number five is called Jonathan Vanderpool. Remember on these songs where there's no rests? Remember whenever you need a breath, just cut one of the notes a little short, or you can leave the note all together and grab a breath. Don't lose the flow of the music, but feel free when you need to take a breath, cut one of the notes a little bit short. Okay, on song number five, there's an accidental. Okay, so you notice how on song five there's the B flat key signature. But over here on this B, they put the natural sign, and that is changing it. It says to do B-flat in the key signature. But on that one, they want it to be B-natural middle finger, so it's called an accidental. Even though they do it on purpose, it's called an accidental. So right here, this particular B is going to be played as middle finger B-natural. Okay? Um, there are no other Bs in the whole song anyways. <laughs> but anyways, that B is going to be middle finger B. Do you recognize low A? We haven't played any low A's yet on this page. I hope you recognize low A. So this, these three notes would be A, B, C. Low A, B natural C. Let's try those three notes. So low A, remember, it's three fingers on the top, two fingers on the bottom. So that's low A, B natural C. Let me warm up those three notes. Try that, everybody. Okay, song five starts on an F. Everybody find an F. F, G, F is going to be the song for number five, the speed for number five. Ready, get set, go. And now him for Joshua. Scan through it, B-flat key signatures. There's a bunch of the high B-flats in this one. And on this one, there's some slurs. On this one, there's some slurs. There's three times where, they, where you're supposed to slur. Oh, and each of them are the same. It's an F to a G. So you flick your tongue on the F, and then you keep blowing and slur up to the G. Listen to this F, G. Go, try, go ahead and try an F, G slur. And on him for Joshua, notice the first measure is an incomplete measure. Um, that's called a pickup note. And um, that means an incomplete measure, very commonly used. So to lead off him for Joshua, I'm going to go one, two, and you hit the C on beat three and then flow through the song. Okay, so everybody warm up the first two notes, C, A. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to lead it off with one, two. One, two.
showed you that on every the bottom of every lesson, like that one was him for Joshua, the song, the last song of every um, lesson has a recording that goes along with it. And I already sent it to you guys. So him for Joshua, I encourage you to find that recording and play the recording while you play the clarinet on him for Joshua. The recording has, you know, drums and trumpets and other things. And um, it, it, I think you'd enjoy playing it with, with the recording. So that was him for Joshua. That was lesson 11.